Let us learn how to wrap text around picture in PowerPoint. The best part is you can select the picture and move the picture around and you can see that the text wraps itself around the new position. Now, when would you want to use such an option in PowerPoint? When you want to create a presentation in PowerPoint, you wouldn't use this option. However, when you want to create a flyer, a brochure, or even a poster in PowerPoint, then you would find this trick to be quite useful. So let us learn how to wrap text around picture in PowerPoint. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. First off, there is no native way to wrap text around picture in PowerPoint. So you need to do this first in Word and then follow the remaining steps to get this right inside PowerPoint. So here I am in a new Word document. First, let me insert some random text. So let us say equals rand and open and closed parenthesis and hit enter. Now we have got some sample text. Then let us insert the picture onto our document. I've already copied the picture of the laptop, so I'm going to press Ctrl V to insert that picture. Of course, you can always insert the picture by going to insert pictures option and you can pick it up from this device or from stock images. Now, I've chosen a picture that lends itself quite nicely to this design where you can wrap text around this picture and it will show as a beautiful design. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to right click on this picture, then go to the option called wrap text and say tight. You can also use the option by going to this layout options here and you can use the tight text wrapping option. Once you have this, you can move this image directly on the text and you can see that the text wraps itself around the picture. Now, this is all quite fine if you're going to use Word for poster creation. But how do we take this whole thing onto PowerPoint? For that, first I need to save this Word document. So let us go to file, save as and then save it somewhere, maybe in documents and let us call this temp and let me say save. Here I have a new slide in PowerPoint. Let me insert the Word document that we just saved as an object. So let us go to insert, then go all the way to the right and here in the text group, you will find this option called object. You click on that option. You will get this pop-up dialog box, choose create from file and then click on browse so you can locate the exact document that you want to insert as an object. Here we have temp and I'm going to say okay. And let us ensure that this option here called link is left unchecked. Otherwise, every time you want to edit the document, you may be taken directly to Word. So with that left unchecked, I'm going to say okay. Here I have the document inserted as an object. Now I would like to expand this to occupy more of the space on the slide. But then if I use the default method of moving it over here and then clicking and dragging this white handle, you can see that the whole thing looks distorted. We don't want to do that. So let us press Ctrl Z to get it back to where it was. Now I'm going to double click on this to edit this. As soon as I double clicked, you can see that we have a different bounding box. Now I can extend this from the sides. Can you see here? It is quite nicely extended and the details are preserved quite nicely. Now, if I want to increase the size, I can do so. I can select everything and I can change the font size here. Font size 11 works quite nicely in Word, but it doesn't work nicely in PowerPoint. We need at least 20 to be the size. Now, when I do some more adjustment here, I can see that my text is now visible. I can move this a little to the top so that there is a little more space allowed for this text here. Now, if at any point of time, I want to increase the size of this image, I can do so. Let me hold the shift button down and click and drag from the corner and I can increase the size. I can move this image wherever I want. Everything is in my control. Now I have all the text quite nicely fitting into the slide area. I can then hit escape and then click outside. Now you can see that all of the text is included in the slide area and I have my picture exactly where I want. Once you have this view, you can always move these elements wherever you want. And when you go to slideshow, this is how the document looks. As I mentioned earlier, this is a technique that you use to create posters, flyers, and brochures, and not presentations. 
And interestingly, I found this article while I was casually browsing through our website called presentationprocess.com. I wrote this article many, many years back and it was quite popular even at that time. And I found that this article doesn't have a video explanation and that is the reason why I created this video. I highly recommend that you visit our presentationprocess.com site and search for some PowerPoint tips and tricks and you might find some interesting tips and tricks that you may not have seen on our presentation process YouTube channel. In fact, the last couple of videos about grouping and creative uses of grouping are all taken from our articles from presentation process. So go visit presentationprocess.com to discover a treasure trove of useful and interesting PowerPoint tips and tricks. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.